Well, hello there, YouTube family. I'm Daddy Jackson. It's not cute, not knowing. I go by the nickname Ginger. This is our time together. We start with a hug after Mother's Day. Somebody needs a hug. Come on. What's it a good weekend for you guys? I survived the teen years. My son turned 20 yesterday, so we made it through the teen years. It's not cute not knowing what's going on. We lost an R&B great during the weekend. Lloyd Price was 88 years old. He was known for the hits. Lottie, Miss Claudie, Mr. Pers he was known as Mr. Personality, but he had the song Personality that I'm sure you've heard in commercials. He had the song Stagger Lee. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1998. Dave Chappelle gave a great interview where he talked about Kevin Hart. So often, people like to pit the two against each other. Who's the better comedian? They're two different types of comedians. I, I hate when people try to, they come from two different worlds. But Dave Chappelle had the best compliment, saying how Kevin Hart was one of the nicest people he ever met, and his worth ethic is incredible. Incredible. I mean, Kevin is out here. He's got Fatherhood, the movie, coming out next month. I hear they're bringing back the Real Housewives of, of, of the Real Husbands of Hollywood. That show was real popular with Nelly and um, Kevin Hart and Boris Kojo. Went off the air in 2016. Nobody ever said why, but... Real Husbands of Hollywood, I hear, is coming back to BET. But anywho, Dave Chappelle just said he just admired Kevin Hart's worth ethic. And I was so glad because Kevin is a really, really nice guy. But those people are like, I'm tired of him. I don't think it's fine. He's a very nice guy and he works very, very Hard. I really admired him. He also talked about the cancel culture. This is really funny because he said the cancer culture is going to wind up canceling themselves. And I was like, I agree with him. How about Versus Over the Weekend, SWV, and Escape? It was so good. And if you missed it, they're showing it on YouTube. Just go on YouTube, type in the Versus, V-E-R-Z-U-Z -Z TV. It was so good. And you know what I think made it great? You're hearing these women sing. SWV Escape. And I mean sing. And these women just belted it out. It, it wasn't about who won. The audience won. Because you enjoyed it so much. But uh, it, it, was, it was so good. It really was. And I really think it's because we're not hearing real singing today. With the exception, I'm talking about the newer stuff that's out right now. With the exception of, a, of um, Jasmine Sullivan. You know, I hear a lot of real singing. These girls is whining. I don't know what's going on. But Versus was so good. Another thing I want you to look out for on YouTube. Go to, go to uh, CNN. It's a special that Don Lemon did last night. Remember Marvin Gaye's classic What's Going On album? It's 50 years old. He did a whole special. He talked to Smokey. He talked to Maxwell. He talked to Nelson George. He talked about people in the know, people with music. Really, really good. This special was amazing. You can find it on YouTube, on CNN. If you missed it, you won't be disappointed. Don Lemon. Mm, great, great special on Marvin Gaye. Really goes into... What made him do this album? Because if you listen to the lyrics of what's going on, it sounds like it was recorded yesterday. Like it was just yesterday that this was recorded. Um, chilling, great album. There was a time when Marvin Gaye just did love songs. But after the death of Tammy Terrell, he changed. And, and the situation, the protests, the Vietnam War, how they treated our veterans and these young men when they arrived back home and how they were treated. And there was a lot of turmoil going on. And Marvin Gaye sang about it in that album. CNN, Don Lemon, Marvin Gaye. Type it on YouTube. It's really good. Melinda Gates divorcing Bill Gates. She says, we're never getting back together. Well, here is another reason why. They say she's wanted out of the marriage since 2013. She realized her husband was like friends, for real, with Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey and them young girls and taking people to a private island and everything he did. He wound up killing himself in jail. 
he knew a lot, so they probably killed him. But he was taking a lot of important people, and they're saying that Bill Gates was one of those important people on those planes. So they said that upset Melinda, but they said she's wanted out of that marriage for quite some time. Now, some other stories are coming out about Bill Gates that in his much younger years, he liked hitting up the strip clubs. Really? And he used to have to have parties at his house where you can come swim in the pool and be naked. Hmm. Mike Tyson, this special, ABC News special, May 25th and June 1st. The knockout, it's called. The rise, the fall, the return. The climb, the crash, the comeback. Mike Tyson's life, which Jamie Foxx is doing a movie on, is incredible. Because we literally watched him climb. We watched the fall, then we're watching the comeback. It airs May 25th on ABC. This is not 30 for 30. This is not ESPN Sports. This is ABC News is doing this. Then it's going to start streaming on Hulu. Uh, I want to keep you guys up to date on that. And this Friday, Angelina Jolie and Tyler Perry, the new movie, Those Who Wish Me Dead. It's about a teenager who witnesses a murder. Angelina Jolie, she's part of this group. They fight fires. So they're running from the assassins who are after the teenager through forest fires. And Tyler Perry plays the cop. It looks good. You know, you look at some trailers and you're like, this trailer looks really good. And it's in theaters on Friday. I appreciate you guys. I went through a lot of comments. A lot of people were upset. Like, we don't care about no Chris Brown. It was a trending story of the day. So we're going to mention it. Also, I'm going to ask, and the, these comments were not directed towards me, but I don't want no bigotry, racism, hatred. Leave a comment, but leave them nice. They weren't directed at me, but I don't like to hear things against other sexes, other races. I think we can be kind and are criticizing without going below the belt and calling out names. I start blocking people. I was like, uh -uh, we, don't, we don't do that negative stuff. You want to give your opinion, but uh, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't do that. I was just like, oh, these people feel with hate. They can't be, I can't be with these people feel with hate because we want to have a good time. We want to have a giggle and we want to know what's going on because it's not cute not knowing. Leave a comment. I do read them. Give us a thumbs up if you like the channel. The channel is growing. So spread the word that we got some pretty good info here. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. Thanks for joining us.